Hey Libra, welcome to your love reading. Let's find out what's going on in your love life as you watch this video, as you click on this video. I'm not putting any timestamps, but uh, whenever you watch this video, that would be possibly a message for you. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. Especially if you're dealing with someone, you're thinking about somebody. Let's find out their thoughts, their feelings, and possible outcome or next action. Okay, Libra? Let's do a preview. Somebody is feeling sad. Why? Feeling like you have been abandoned, Libra? You're feeling as though this person is not um, minding you, not picking up your call, um, doesn't care about you. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. This is the minor arcana of the... Um, the Libra card, the Justice card, right? So there is a sense of balance, even though possibly you're feeling sad, feeling abandoned, feeling alone, you're trying to maintain balance in your life. So if love life is not really working well, you do well with your finances and health, you know, that, that sort of thing. You, you, you're always keeping track of having balance in life. And then we have the High Priestess, uh, you're very much in tune with your intuition. yeah. Or for some of you, you may be thinking so much, you know, overthinking, analyzing things, when in fact this could be a, a, a must for you. That whatever you see in the physical world, if somebody is not talking to you, if somebody is not giving you, it's not giving back, right? Your Whatever energy you put out there, if they're not giving back, you keep on analyzing things. Okay? You think about it. Why did they not call? Why didn't they not? Yada, yada, yada. This is a calling. This is a message for you, Libra, that sometimes you have to feel it. You have to uh, take it from the heart or take it from your gut to know that what was, if they are not doing it, if they are not giving back to you the energy that you are putting forth, then what does your gut tell you? It's not a matter of you analyze from 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. what happened there. But it's more about what is your intuition telling you. Okay. Here we have the king of pentacles. I feel like you, there's a surge of good luck, good money. Um, yeah. And also, I feel like you have someone around you, Libra, who wants something real. Who wants a relationship? We're talking about love here. So that could be it. Somebody who is willing to invest their time, their money, their effort to you because they see you in their long term. <laughs> All right, Libra. Let's get on with your cards. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I mean the main tarot deck spread. All right. You're walking away from someone or you're feeling like you lost this. You're not going to put any effort into it. You're getting pissy, Libra, with this situation. Because this person may not be putting a lot of or not giving back. If you're calling this person, you know, you've probably been thinking about this person a lot. But their response to you, it seems like they are not really giving back. Yeah, they're not giving back the energy. They are not calling back for some of you. And this is you feeling like, okay, I'm done. I'm done here. You can probably feel that they are playing mind games. And I think you're right. <laughs> I think your brain is telling you right. Yeah, because they know that you are... Okay, let's see first. At the bottom of the deck, we have the emperor. You want something more. You want something that is structured um good communication in a relationship that's the um, emperor type of energy if we talk about the relationship you want a good communication with someone like if they feel something if they are wondering about something speak it up right so that the other person can hear it and can bounce back ideas with you but in this case with the five of swords to me it looks like 
you're kind of okay this is a lost game you cannot get this person to reciprocate the way you want it to so there's not going to be any structure here now this person on the other hand i feel like they are contemplating about you you're contemplating especially if something has happened between you two looks to me like they are thinking about okay whatever you have done in the recent past with this person whether it is a date physical intimacy you had sex it seems like it's a one night stand for example because it's a small ace of pentacles something happened there so this person is thinking about that and thinking about what has happened there and what do i want from that situation what do i want from libra what do i want from this connection with libra there is an excitement here so there must have been intimacy but i feel like this person wants to initiate so if you're okay if you're the one initiating stay back step back for a while libra let this person initiate because this is what they want to do this is what they want to do. They know that they are ignoring you. It seems like they know that they are ignoring you. And that is ignoring you in purpose. Yeah, Because they want to be able to do this step rather than be the receiver for you. Wow. This is a masculine energy. Very masculine. You see, feelings, they want to offer you the cup. They want to charm you in. They want to... They want to involve more emotions with you. So it's not just physical. It's not just actions. It's not just meeting up. But more of they want to open up to you emotionally and offer you something. Uh, open up, Opening up to you. And I feel like they will work it out. They will work it out with you. Let's see. Let's clarify these cards, Libra. Okay, we're ready. Yeah, for you, on the other hand, you want to talk, you want to communicate, and that is the Five of Swords, right? It's uh, swords, communication, information. And um, But based on what you have seen, now you are putting this connection or relationship at a pause. You don't want to invest in anything where you feel like it's not a good investment. You're pretty wise with how you spend your time, your money, your energy. And you would only want to invest in something that is worth all that. At the bottom of the deck, again, we have the emperor. You want to build a good, grounded type of relationship with someone where it's healthy. Okay? It's a healthy type of connection. You're not going to be wasting time here, I feel. <laughs> All right, so the person, like I said, they're thinking about the last thing that you both have done. They're thinking about that again. I've been shuffling it, right? We still get the emperor. emperor. This is a very masculine type of energy. And it seems like they're thinking about that and um, possibly whatever you have told them, they are processing it. But for the most part, I feel they want expansion. They want um, expansion with you in a relationship and they want a deep type of connection, deep level, deeper level. So it's a connection where both of you can have good sex together. You can talk about just about anything at the same time. You can open up to someone and they can support you emotionally. So this person is that. Yeah, They want this expansion, fertility. The Empress is a very good sign of a potential for a good type of relationship. A very grounded type of relationship where there is openness, vulnerability. You can open up to someone and they are there for you. You can feel that they care for you. Plus, they also dream about you. They imagine you. Okay. For some of you, I feel like this person could have some problems with money. 
housing yeah or just somebody who doesn't have who feels like they don't have enough yeah, but they are hopeful that their situation will change they are they have this positive uh, strong optimism in life right i also feel that this person may look up to you libra they may think that uh, you are too good for them yeah but even so even that they re even if they recognize it that you know um libra is would probably deserve better or that because they cannot give you what you probably want because they're feeling the sense of lack on their own so that's not your problem it's it's how they feel on their own right they feel like maybe they can't give everything you want yeah but they're kind of optimistic too that in the long run things will be brighter <laughs> Or there is that sense of optimism that the situation could unfold differently. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and that is stability, relationship. Your Ten of Pentacles, success, long-term relationship, right? They're aiming for this. Wow. You know, I think for the past few readings that I've done for you, Libra, it's all about somebody who wants that deep connection that love the relationship so please tell me if any of you have been resonating with those readings because this looks to me like it's the same thing the difference is that you probably are feeling as though you know this person is not reciprocating and that you might probably pull away or walk away okay but wow this one had to just drop need to breathe okay but someone here wants you wants that relationship expansion <laughs> you know what i am getting that this person may feel like if they ignore you you might change your idea so that means, Libra, you might know that this person could also be playing a little bit of game. Because if they are ignoring you, this one, if they are ignoring you, it's sort of a bait. It's sort of a, a game, right? That when they ignore you, you would likely end things or possibly even um, try to chase them. You transform your 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 desire for them chase them and ultimately you would want them in your life that you will be the one to tell them hey i want you in my life for that relationship because for now you are like the queen of pentacles your energy is you will only put forward or put an effort into things you feel there is reciprocal or it's good yeah and queens are mostly our inner desires right it's very feminine type of energy how you feel or you want to receive it you're, you're on the receiving mode but this person i feel like they are ignoring you so that there is some sort of transformation on your end rather than you want to receive they would want you to give to initiate to tell them that you want them because as of this time if this person is feeling that sense of lack they might not be fully secure in expressing how they feel towards you. Make sense? They might feel rejected or they might be afraid being rejected or scared being rejected or being let down. But then if you initiate as the king, then it saves them the trouble for that, right? Okay, somebody here is doing so because they want to protect their emotions, their assets, their personal being. It's for their protection, you know, so that they don't get into, um, so that they don't feel ashamed or embarrassed. Wow. They're playing games just to get you. Wow, Libra. Okay. So they want you to invest, you see? This is how they see you, the King of Pentacles. They want you to show them that you want to spend the rest of your life with them or you want to have that relationship with them, 
yeah to show them it's that pentacles energy show them in the physical realm put the action and show it to them or that you are really willing to show them that you know you want this you want this pentacle shared between the two of you now for their for their feelings i feel like they are emotionally interested and that they are charming you they want to offer you their love but at the same time, when we clarified it, they come out with the two kings. The two kings energy. The king of emotions and the king of action. So they would steal and the king of excitement, right? The only thing is they want to know your real intention. Are you intending to have that relationship with them? Because if you are, they are already 75% in. All they need is your 25% to say that you want them. You intend to be with them. There is some sort of insecurity in this person's mindset. Yeah. Because they want, to, they care for you. They want to share more love to you, to make you feel loved, to make you feel comfortable. And at the same time, they want to spend more time with you or travel or do things together new things together be your partner they want that but they're not talking about it you both are not talking about it it's a good thing that you have me here yeah reading your cards somehow we get that insights uh, somebody is missing you thinking about you and all that now the magician someone wants to work this out but they feel like what is i, I don't know it feels like somebody here is feeling, oh, this can't happen. You know, there is that limited belief that this is not going to happen anyway. So why bother type of thing? At the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of cups. Feelings, confusion, mixed emotions. Because somebody wants to really kick off this relationship but then lacks confidence um, and lacks the eagerness to choose a strong decision or to make the, right, the strong decision to say, okay, let's do this. Yeah. Even though they want to, they don't really talk about it. This, this could work, Libra, if you, this was in our preview reading earlier, right? If you could feel or you know listen to what your intuition tells you if you feel like this reading resonates that means that perhaps this person is feeling um like they're not good enough for you or that they can't fully have you for example in a relationship then they might not be that confident to move things forward to take on this chariot energy because chariot chariot energy is choosing a path and moving forward with it quickly yeah once the decision is made that's it but this person is like really how can i do that if i choose that path what would libra say would libra take me would libra be with me or would libra reject me they're afraid to be re being rejected I feel like somebody here needs to be more intuitive, needs to see things from a different angle. Pull yourself out from the situation and see how your situation works with this person. Okay? So that you can... Mixed emotions. Somebody here doesn't understand how they feel about you. <laughs> they feel so much, but they cannot put it into words. <laughs> okay rebirth going through a dark night of the soul the space between who they were and who they will become so now they are very unsure as to having that start with you especially if this is a person you've already dealt with in the past like probably there was a false start in the past and then now you're reconnected so this rebirth thing is presently a no because they are going through the dark night of the soul and this is similar to this dark night of the soul is like you know the person just doesn't see uh, where a situation is going and um, things seem to be gloomy for them 
So that could only be achieved or, or fixed when you are in a relationship. So definitely this person wants to be in relationship with you, but how to get that? Now, testing the waters before making a big decision, they want to test the waters and make sure you feel the same. So them, if you feel Libra, like this person may be playing games, this is also, this can also be it. They're testing the waters. So you could probably expect, I'm doing this reading, um, now is August, right? <laughs> Likely so, the latest that this could happen or the latest that things could be more clear for, for both of you will be springtime <laughs> or, or when you see a spring, right? Next, uh, if you walk through the forest, if you bump into a spot where there is a spring, probably that's it. But this is more likely the season of spring. They, before making a decision, they want to test the waters and make sure you feel the same. Just like what I said, they don't know how you feel right now. That's why they're feeling that sense of lack. I mean, they feel the sense of lack and they don't know how you feel. Therefore, the confidence in, in pursuing you may not be at full force. I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.